Hello, wrestling fans. Jay Biggs here alongside my broadcast colleague. We have in the house Bruce Fisher and Brian Miller. I want to thank you guys for coming along today and joining us for the Reno Wrestle Factory's DVD that we, are, of course, have uh, supplied you with to check out the biggest and brightest stars of Northern Nevada and the Northern California wrestling scene. Coming out right now is the seven feet tall, over 300 pound wrecking ball, the SPW heavyweight champion, Paul Isadora, leading him and to the I ring. Think, I think his t-shirt says it all there, Biggs. I don't think Paul Isadora came here to lose. He's Ever since he's uh, acquired the uh, services of Brian Zane, he is, well, undefeated here in the RWF. I believe he's undefeated in singles action in the RWF as well. Obviously undefeated at this moment in the SPW uh, Federation as well. So definitely a wrecking ball or wrecking force to reckon with, you could say, here in the northern Nevada area. Brian, what are your thoughts on this man? I'm actually surprised that they were able to find somebody who would want to face Paul Isadora right now because he's unstoppable. Well, it's an open challenge, as uh, we'll see here in just a couple moments. Brian Zane has some words to say. Let's hear what he has. Nobody cares. I care. Well, that makes one person. I mean, fans, if you know the history here, Brian Zane was our cameraman for, what, a year and a half, I believe, Biggs? And he'd been sitting aside in the middle of the match with Paul Isadora. Out of nowhere, he sets the camera down, throws some sort of powder substance into Mustafa's eyes, leading to a power slam victory by Paul Isadora. And we have not seen Mustafa Saeed since then either, uh, Bruce Fisher. So that, That's a good point you make there. Even farther back in the history of these two, uh, Portland Wrestling, years ago, Paul Isadora, Paul Isadora actually faced uh, the Z-Man Brian Zane in one-on-one -on -one action, putting the Z-Man out indefinitely uh, from actual ring competition. He's been a manager ever since. I have seen that match, actually. You can find it on YouTube, fans, if you really want to look it up. One of the one of the grossest choke slams I believe I've ever seen, if I can use that word. Until Will Rude took one, which uh, we may see here in the coming weeks. Hey, make sure you join us on Reno Wrestle Factory. Dot com. Every week we're going to have brand new episodes of the biggest little wrestling show that head your way on the World Wide Web for your entertainment. So make sure uh, you keep checking back. ArenaWrestleFactory.com, like it says right there on the bottom of the RWF logo. Now here comes a man from Fresno, California, who uh, we uh, we definitely know here in the Northern Nevada scene, and that is Ridiculous Mike Rain. Well, Mike Rain's talent is, you know, he's a very talented wrestler. He's got a very large arsenal of maneuvers. I don't know how many of them he can perform tonight against Paul Isadora, but he's going to have to probably use them all just to knock the man off his feet. Well, many accolades for this superstar, uh, Bruce and Brian. Uh, he won the Riz Cup and uh, I believe it was 2009, and uh, that's pretty much since then he's been on an up, upward climb uh, towards very, the top of the NorCal scene. He's a very accomplished wrestler, for sure, Biggs here. I don't think I would lock up with him if I was Mike Rain. Any words about Mike Rain there, Brian? Uh, this is going to be a human sacrifice, basically, so I'm just going to try to enjoy it. Paul Isidore is pretty much going to do whatever he wants, and uh, Mike Rain's pretty much an idiot for even showing up, if you want to know the truth. Well, he moves oh, a little out of bit of a way. power struggle. The quicker, man. A couple of shots to the stomach here. There Isidora go. just pushes him away, fans, like a ragdoll. Oh, oh look at big that. kick to the... It actually knocks Isidore off his feet. That's that lucky. That I can't was... believe that. Oh, that there one didn't go. even phase him. All that seven feet tall of this man. Fans. Can you believe this? Is, this? this is what I'm talking about. He's just going to impose his physical will whenever he wants. Definitely We're about to find out. Brutality here by the wrecking ball. Now in the corner right now, ridiculous Mike Rain, unfortunately in a ridiculous predicament because he put himself in it. Brian Zane issued the open challenge, and look at that. It's like getting a frying pan right to the chest. Did you hear how loud that was? Extremely loud. Right now, the big wrecking ball just chunking him in the corner, showing his superior dominance over ridiculous Mike Rain. And Brian's in on the outside, of course, adding insult to injury already there, jabbing at the mouth. Right and a big right hand over the head. He's, he's rocking and reeling. This is just going to get worse and worse for Mike Rain, and uh, he should probably submit right now, just get it over with. If I were him, I would do that. I don't well, think he's going to do that there, Brian. He no, he's got heart. He signed that contract. Mike Rain definitely has a lot of heart. He's not going to give up or just roll over here for Paul Isidore. 
He's got to make a living, though. If he's going he's gonna to end up getting really but hurt. But he's got a shot here at the Supreme Pro Wrestling Heavyweight title. And if you're not in this sport to be the best, why are you in this sport? That's okay. very true, Bruce. Very true. Big elbow right now from the Wrecking Ball. And not a lot of movement out of uh, ridic ridiculous Mike Rain. We haven't seen much out of him, considering it's just been pure dominance, like we said before. Uh, this, uh, this really, right now, is weighing in the favor of the Wrecking Ball like it did not in the beginning. But, of course, it is right now for sure uh, complete control over Mike Rain at this point. And we're going to see a little bit later on if, if we... Uh, Oh, get... it? oh, ouch. Brutal. Sorry to take away from the action, fans. But I want to go back to about if you're not in this sport to be the best, why are you in this sport? You know, no one here in the RWF is here to impress their mommies or go out and wrestle in front of 10 people they know from their job. We're here to be the best. That's true. We are the only destination in Reno. Now, if you want to uh, definitely be a professional wrestler and you want the best training in Northern Nevada, the place you need to go is the Reno Wrestle Factory. Of course, our school uh, just off Longley Lane right here in Reno, Nevada. Make sure you check out the website for all the contact information. And uh, that is RenoWrestleFactory.com. Also the place where you can check out our weekly BLWS episodes. Oh, Mike Gray moves out of the way. Oh, this could be a shot to rally the fans behind him and get some... Uh, definitely working over that leg. Look nice. out. Big crop kick. Oh, sends the big man reeling back there. Comes off the ropes here. Another one. Oh, here's the door. I think the rope saved from there. Oh, watch out. Don't want to get caught up in those. What's he calling for here? Oh, what? There's Brian Zane. That's exactly that, why that Brian Oregon Zane's geek. there. That's why he's there. Look at, look at him run. Yeah, look at him run. He probably, that's probably the most he, he activity doesn't want, activities ever done. Well, he doesn't want any of that. Ridiculous Mike Rain, because I'll tell you right now, if he gets caught up, well, this might be right here where he needs to watch out. Of course, what? Oh! Big kick by Paul Zadora! The wrecking ball just barely lifting his leg there to score a direct hit to the face of Ridiculous Mike Rain and Brian Zane. There he is, jabbering at the mouth, acting like he's the brains of it all. He's but we know. His paycheck. That's what he's doing. He's earning his paycheck. That's why he's here. Now watch say this. What you this want, is where Brian. It's it's oh, over. oh, a big bomb. It's over. Count it. One. Referee Monkey two, makes the one, the two, and three. three. It's academic at this point, and your winner is the SPW heavyweight champion. All seven foot plus of them, the wrecking ball, Paul Isadora. And of course, now getting in the ring with him is his manager, the Z Man, Brian Zane. Well, I'm not really not surprised with the outcome here. I mean, Brian said it earlier. I just didn't want to be so one sided, but your winner, Paul Isadora, like you said, Biggs. All right, folks. Well, we want you to make sure that you keep on. Tuning in to RenoWrestleFactory.com on the World Wide Web. We will have our biggest little wrestling show webisodes every week. We will see a brand spanking new one right there on the website. Look at that size of Isadora. He's huge. Nothing bigger than that in the NorCal, Northern Nevada scene, that's for sure. You love wrestling. You've always wanted to be a part of it. But you just don't know where to start. It doesn't just have to be a dream anymore. You can do more than just watch wrestling. You can be wrestling. There's only one reputable wrestling school in Northern Nevada, and that school is the Reno Wrestle Factory. So get off your couch and give Reno Wrestle Factory a call and start living your dream today. Hi, welcome to Stingray Tattoo, Reno's oldest tattoo studio. We also do body piercing. We are currently having a sale on t-shirts and tan tops for 50% off. Please check us out on stingraytattoo.net or Facebook. At Stingray Tattoo, all we do is custom tattoos. Zodiac Sign Company for all your signage needs, including vehicle wraps, banners, ADA signage, digital printing, cut vinyl, three-dimensional letters, hand painting, and custom design. The Zodiac Sign Company, serving the Reno Sparks area since 1999. For more information, call 775-324-0799. What's Beach Hut Deli? It's the freshest ingredients. The most unique sandwiches. It's eight micro brews on tap. Beach Hut Deli, the best sandwiches on earth.
Hello, wrestling fans. Welcome back. Dog collar action headed your way right now. This is going to be brutal, and this is what I'm here for. Fans are definitely in for a special treat here. A dog collar match between the 21st century killing machine Malachi and big country Jody Kristofferson. These two men have been feuding for months and months. Some of the most brutal matches I have ever witnessed in all of my experience of watching wrestling. Even as a child, I've never seen something so brutal as this, these two's feud. And it should be coming to an end here tonight in a dog collar match. Well, I don't know where you would take it from here. I mean, this has got to be the end of this feud. Fans, if you've ever seen a dog collar match, they are brutal. There's not many of them in the history of wrestling because of the brutality. I'm actually kind of surprised that the athletic commission even let us have this match here today. Yeah, definitely cleared here for the Reno Wrestle Factory. We are true professionals, and the athletic commission knows that. From Houston, Texas. And here comes Big Country. Uh, fans like him here in Reno. Definitely a very talented young wrestler. Yeah, I mean, Jody's great and everything, but, uh, you know, he always says USA. Half the time he's fighting guys from America, so it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. He just takes a lot of pride in the USA and the old moral values of the, uh, the United States that doesn't exist in today's society. All right, guys, Jay Biggs here, finally able to join you at ringside. And what's going on? You both have a, a smile on your face. Are you making fun of me? Well, I got yeah. a smile on my face because I'm about to witness a great wrestling match. Oh, that's what I was thinking because this is going to be great. Let me tell you right now, as, uh, as we've said before here in the RWF, anything can happen. And what you're about to see is pretty much anything and everything with this dog collar being strapped around the necks of both of these superstars. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to see some serious <laughs> amounts of blood by the end of this event and this contest here at the Evelyn Mount Community Center. Uh, most definitely. I'll be honest, I'm a sadist and I uh, came here for the blood and that's why uh, I'm here. Okay, well, so Brian's being honest. I don't see there not being bloodshed in this match, that, that steel chain being involved and they can use it as a weapon at any time here. Putting the collar on both uh, wrestlers right here. And, uh, oh, oh, oh now. jumps the gun. He Come on now. Hey, they haven't even got the collar on him yet. Brilliant. Yeah, Look at that. Look at that. Monkey hasn't even signaled me to hit the bell yet, so I'm not going to. Right away, right to a choke here. This is ridiculous. Come on. Watch out. Big country oh, he's got there. the chain in his mouth. The son of a highwayman not feeling too good right now, considering his mouth is being ripped wide open with a chain, a steel chain of that. And that's a heavy chain I lifted. It's got to weigh about 30 pounds, I'd say, at least. Sheesh. You know All what right. the greatest part about this is? Uh, you know, Jody's almost already out of this match, and it hasn't even really started yet. Oh, no, he's like a big bull, Jody. I, 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 he's got no quit in him, that's for sure. Well, we'll see. All right, Malachi right now definitely in control, but we haven't even started the contest officially yet because the bell is not rung. Well, look so let's at Malachi. See. He's, a, he's an intimidating individual. He's wrapping that around his uh, around his right fist and, oh, just pounding into the, the flesh and the head and the bone of, of big country, Jody Christofferson. Look at those eyes. They look glazed over there. Already. The referee's got to get the collar on. He's got to get the collar on just to start it. Nice officiating there. Very good officiating. By Toby. Won't allow a pinfall until he gets the collar on the neck. Well, I can't get things right tonight. I called Toby uh, a Dale earlier, and then I just called him Monkey again. <laughs> and it's this new it's this new haircut of Toby's. It's really throwing me off. I'm not sure who he is from a distance, but <laughs> nonetheless, referee Toby with us. All right. Finally, are we going to see the bell? If he, if he calls for it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Having some problems getting the call. It's got to be here. intimidating looking up at that. See, that just made Malachi more, All right, he more it. mad there. The bell, the match is officially started, fans. Here we go. How long will. Oh, oh Big Country must have heard that bell. Must have woke him up or something. Oh, yeah. He's on fire. Big clothesline oh. by Big Country Jody Christopherson. Chain Malachi. lariat of some kind there. there. Look at this here, fans. That's where the chain, chain comes into oh, play. Watch oh, out. Oh, my. Clearly thought he forgot he had a chain on Did his neck. Did you see that? He must have, Brian. Jeez, that's got to hurt. Oh, look at it. Big Country is fired up. All 260 pounds of him. He is definitely a big boy. That's right. From Houston, Texas, son of uh, Chris Christofferson. So you might know him from Blade Trilogy. 
And right now, uh, Big Country doing his best to make a name for himself. Definitely his uh, father's very accomplished musician and a uh, movie star, if you will. But this is professional wrestling. And, uh, oh, and oh. Jody is a professional wrestler. Did you see that shot? Malachi just not feeling very good right now. But, of course, he's definitely been giving a beating, of course, to Jody Christopherson. So well, ever since the bell rang, it's been all Jody. That's true. I did not see that coming. Oh! oh. Right across the back. And a big punch to the head. Listen to the fans saying, thank you, Jody. They do not like Malachi here in Reno, Malachi even though he's does, from town. Malachi does not care whether fans like him or not. Malachi doesn't have emotions like regular people. You know what, Brian? You're right. You're, you're damn right. That's and true. The few conversations I've had with the men, they're just, you know, you just have this feeling like he doesn't care about the other people in the room. Like when you talk, he talks to you, but he doesn't even acknowledge you really exist. Human. I went up to him earlier in the locker room to try to get his stats, and he said, of course, he was from Reno, but he didn't care if I said he was from here. When I asked him how much he weighed, he said 64 dead babies. So the guy obviously just does not care. I mean, he has no heart at all. And you can see how ruthless he is, the way he's been beating down Jody without the chain around his neck. I mean, this oh, is... and a big elbow right across the sternum. He said he doesn't have a heart. He does have a heart, a heart full of hate. Oh, maybe you're right there, Brian. Maybe you're definitely right. He's enjoying what he's doing right now. A man full of hate, as Brian Miller said, Malachi. I mean, I, I guess you would have to with a name like the 21st Century Killing Machine. He gets off on this. He enjoys it. Oh, yeah. There's nothing he'd rather be doing right now than beating the hell out of another human. So and many impressive things of, oh, of Malachi. His finishing maneuver, though, that... that with straight jacket pal driver he calls it I believe the most brutal move in wrestling yeah I've never I've seen I've never move. seen anyone kick out of that maneuver you if not cripple the wrestler yeah, easily will break a neck the way his, your arms don't have any support to your neck and the way it hits the mat and right now Jody Christopherson getting a, a beating Definitely taking a beating here. yeah right here in the corner oh. did you hear that you know what right I across the job. I realize Malachi doesn't really give a crap who Jody's dad is. Oh! Well, he shouldn't necessarily. This is in-ring competition. Yeah. Perfectly legal here in a dog collar match. Referee asking for a submission. If Jody doesn't give up, he might just go unconscious here. That's the only other choice. Just pulling. He's just pulling him. He's literally pulling Christofferson through the ropes right now. That's disgusting looking. This might be where a regular person might quit pulling on the chain because they're worried about whether or not they're going to, you know, kill a person. But Malachi just doesn't care. Yeah. Absolutely. He's like he's hanging him. It's like he's hanging him. You know, that's how this feud started. Malachi, I mean, Jody called him out. He said he won't back down to a bully. But Malachi is, is a bully. Definitely a bully. And this is what happens when you put a bully in a fight and a chain. He's not running away. No questions about that, Bruce. And let me tell you, I want to remind everybody as well uh, to make sure you keep joining us right here at the Reno Wrestle Factory uh, at the Evelyn Mount Community Center for our shows. And the way you can find out about those is by going to RenoWrestleFactory.com on the World Wide Web. Of course, you can check out episodes of The Biggest Little Wrestling Show. Uh, just make sure you click the uh, live events page if you want to go ahead and get yourself some tickets for one of our events, uh, Eventbrite.com oh, as well. Wow. But, oh, my. You know, Jody might be on one oh. of those events if he survives this, but it's looking doubtful right now. I mean, I can imagine this this, this kind of match takes, takes oh, years off of your career. Jeez. Look at his back. It's already starting to show signs of, of the chain swelling up in the area hit. I can't believe that. This is Jody. Oh, 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 nice counter, oh, nice. Nice counter is there. Is it there? It looks like it by the referee's discretion right there. In this match, you got to say I quit. I can't say yet that there's been enough of a fight for Malachi to give up, considering I know the guy well I've enough never, to... I've never, never seen Malachi give up. Not once. I don't think it even goes through his mind. Dang right. And right now, both guys rocking and reeling, trying to figure out what they're going to do next, considering they've already pretty much destroyed each other, but I guess there is more they could do. We're going to oh, find out, and that's definitely more. right there. Oh! The oh. chain right across the head, taking Malachi That's got to be a knockout. Like Bobby McGee's going to have a now He's still win. moving, Biggs. One, two, kick out. Wow. Not enough to take out the 21st century killing machine. Well, it's going to take a lot more than that, Malachi. Obviously. See, guys, I don't feel too bad. There's referee Monkey in the corner down there. So I knew I saw him out there. Definitely. They got all the officials out there at ringside. 
Going for a suplex here. Gets him up and down oh. goes Malachi. Now, Bruce, you might remember being uh, uh, at the show, of course, I've had to, to give the warning and discretion to 18 and under, you know, that are here at the show to watch out because this could be very violent, very brutal. Definitely. Something we can't uh, watch. We so I wanna... Wrestle Factory. We do like to promote. We are a family-oriented wrestling league, but we will give that warning that in case a match, you know, obviously this, you know this match is not for the weak heart. That's uh, not very true, very true. And, of course, I want to exercise that again right now and tell uh, mothers and fathers that are watching this DVD, you know, if, if uh, your kid has a weak stomach or, or if you yourself can't handle this, it's going to get very violent. I'm, I'm very positive this is going to get very violent to where you might want to turn away. So just make sure, of course, you use that discretion at, at your I own. I mean, it already is extremely violent. Well, yes, exactly. But as uh, Brian Miller over here from the Brian Miller Show mentioned earlier, Things there could get a lot worse. There we go. That's what Jody's got to do. He's got to get as mean as Malachi in this match if he wants to win it. Now, I wonder why there's two referees considering there's really no rules in this match. Just making sure that the... Uh, they got to keep the fans out of the way. Well, that's that's who you that's really got to watch out for. Safety of fans is uh, important. Like you said earlier, you're surprised we got the commission to allow us to do this match. Imagine if a fan had got hurt, man. Absolutely. Hopefully it won't come to that. Oh, exactly. And right now, look, Malachi feeling well, the effects. I think a fan get hurt if they're stupid enough to try to step in the ring with one of these wrestlers. Exactly. Oh, oh. across the back. Oh, that extra shake he gave it before Tell he hit him, definitely. Hurt. Tell me that doesn't hurt. I can't. Reverses it around. It's got to oh. be hard to wrestle with a chain that attached to your neck. took him right off his feet. I guess he's going back and forth, and uh, neither man really having an upper hand right now. I just have no idea how this is going to go. Uh, Brian and Bruce, one thing I want to mention is that both these men continuously are, are falling on their backs onto this chain. Uh, as you know, it's almost every time they fall down, they're falling onto this chain, which has got to not feel very good. Well, I mean, well, I don't want to tell any fans to go out and try this at home, but if you're stupid enough, I guess take a chain and whip it across your back and see what it feels like. Then imagine a 260-pound man grabbing that chain and whipping it across your back. By the way, don't do that. Yeah, yeah that, don't definitely. do that, fans. All oh, right. a nice block by Jody. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look at this. We got both men jockeying for, for position here. It's like a war action. Who's going to get the upper hand here? I got to uh, say, uh -huh. I think may maybe big uh, Jody think, might have it. I there's... think Christopherson's taking it here. There you go. Oh, Malachi just gave up and Blocks said, I'm going to beat him up. Oh, nice. Another form. Another. Watch out that chain. He's getting uh -oh. wrapped around uh -oh. the post. Oh. Okay. We're very oh. close to the fans right now. Exactly. Very close to those fans. They might want to move out of the way. But we got all the RWF like it, officials. We're on a chain here or something. We do have the officials out there trying to keep the safety of the fans. People knew there was going to be a dog collar match. They came for it. So I think they're expecting and understanding what's going to happen here. Oh, this match was advertised for a long time. People knew what they were in store for, but oh, right alert here. Alert. alert. Nice tell the fans to get out of the way. Uh, that tattoo girl better move. Is She's right in the line shot? of fire. What's this? Oh, my. Look at this. Come on, no. Oh. oh. Good God, my hell. What was that, Bruce? Why in the world would he do that to him? I mean, we've all established the fact that the Blackheart himself uh, of Malachi uh, really doesn't care what the fans think, but gosh. He, he did that because that's what he's got to do to win this match. He's got to be just as much of a bully oh, as This is ultra-violence. Look at that fan. Uh, she's horrified. She can't even tell what's going on. This is the action that you see at the RWF fans. You want to come out and see this live for yourself. Regardless of how this ends up turning out, I, I think maybe Malachi's won a little personal battle. He's, he's kind of he's kind of tainted Jody a little bit with, with this with bad intentions. Well, you know what? That's a very good point, Brian. Very good point. And right now, big country. Oh, oh that lower back though. Right Man. across the, that ring does not move fans. Oh, he's when it's busted hit. open. Malachi well, is busted open. Blood There's has been blood drawn. There. there we go. This is going to set the tone for the rest of the match. I can tell you that right now. Well, definitely got taken to fact. If, I mean, if he loses too much blood, it, you know, it's going to definitely help out Jody. All right, down the outside now, Christofferson still rocking and reeling from that hit by Malachi with the chain after he pushed his kidneys into the side of that ring. No give at all there. And look at this, just choking the heck out of him. I think that blood maybe uh, loosened up a little adrenaline in Malachi. This is one. This is the fans. This is one of the most brutal. This is 
I could say it's just as brutal as uh, Piper and Valentine from Starcade 83. Very good reference there, Bruce. That's the Old standard. school wrestling. That's the standard for dog collar matches, and I think it's pretty much coming up to it. I believe it is, too. I'm on the edge of my seat, fans, and I know you are, too, here. Big knife edge chopped by Malachi and retaliated by Christopherson. Both men just trading chops here. Oh, watch out. So Malachi had enough of that. Cut him off with the blow of the print. Oh! Very devastating. Hear the fans out there. I guarantee you these two men are going to be hating life tomorrow morning when they wake up. I'll tell you that Malachi right now. just clubbing away at the head of Christofferson. Every time it looks like Jody's out, he seems to fight back a little bit. And maybe that's not a wise move. Maybe he should just give it up. He's not going to win this. He's got a big heart the size of Texas, where he's from. I'll tell you that, Brian. No questions. And Malachi now, watch out. He's got the chain around his neck. He's coming through the bottom, probably, considering he's going to get tangled up. I figured it out. That's one of the things you got to deal with in a dog collar match. Good thinking there by the Neander Kai. Is he wrapping the chain around his elbow? For, that looks like the forearm. Oh, this could be nasty. Oh. This could be nasty. There are so many ways that chain can be used as a weapon. Not just for whipping or choking, but for, for hitting. Like a big beast, Malachi with that chain just and putting it across around his forearm like a like a big giant club that's wrapped in barbed wire and metal. And now he's taken to the stomach of big country Jody Christopherson, who's down still and pretty much hasn't gotten up since that hit to the kidneys at the side of the ring. But oh, nice oh, look at this! Smart maneuver by Jody Christopherson here. Yeah, maybe a chance for Jody to get back in some retribution here. Oh! Big oh. forearms are both just trading and standing toe to toe with Malachi here. Very impressive back. Oh, that one took him right off his feet. Good lord. This might be one of the most brutal things I've ever seen. I can't imagine these men going much longer here. It surpasses what I thought it would. I thought it would be over with these oh. two balls. Oh, watch out, oh. Malachi. When's the last time he went to the top rope? I don't know what he was thinking there. Unorthodox yes. for sure. Christofferson, another second win here. Oh, I can't believe this, folks. It's not looking good right now for Malachi, who What's was really on top for? of this match in the beginning. Scoop slam. Oh, he's a bloodied mess. Imagine What's this? Time. Oh, watch out! Chris Iverson! Oh, oh he drops it! Double axe handle! That chain repeatedly going into his face every time he's a major. He's got to move. Anything. Yes. Do you see Malachi's forehead? Good, the good thing to there? point out there, Brian. It is. That chain has really become a nuisance for every time they fall, every time they move. Every little movement is involving that chain. Malachi's got like a pop knot on his forehead with blood coming out of it. Oh, look at that. Country gets the, the kick to the gut there, and oh... Tries to retaliate oh, the spear. spear. He hits the spear. Cover him, Jody. Come Done. on, buddy. One, you Two. can do it. Come on, buddy. Oh. oh, was that a three count? No, no. not no, quite. Was not. That was I a two and three quarters. I thought that was it. Two and three fourths. I'm telling you right I now. I think Jody's got this match now. That might have been the maneuver he needed to end it. Come on, Jody. There we oh, go. Oh, he's hulking up, folks. You gotta do it, Jody. You gotta step up right here. You gotta end it. Malachi's gonna do here, he's setting great. him up. Jody's he's got the pride of America finisher. going through him. Malachi, he's got him up. trying to he's counter back. here. Lance Torture rack didn't work out too well. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's Russian leg sweep. What is this? What's going oh, on? No. Oh, he's setting him up. I think he's going for a hangman. He's got. He is. Oh. Yeah, he is. Oh. Look, he's gone. Oh. Oh, oh no, Jody. Christopherson. At this point, he's got fingers in there. Look at. Watch out. Watch out. He's just gone limp. He just went limp. He just went out. It's it's over. Is that it? This be it? The right? Oh, no, he's he, still moving. He could go for the cover, still but he's... seeing some movement. I'm not sure. That might have been a mistake. He should have went for the cover right there. That's what I was just about to say, Brian. I think Malachi should have went for the cover there, but Jody's still moving, so I don't know if it would have got him. Oh, watch out. Some big... shots to the gut. Nothing on it. No effect, really. To oh, oh, here he goes is. again. Torture again. He can't do it. Oh, There's too much man, out of right him there, Bruce. The Better think of a plan B real quick. Oh, he set him up again. He's got to block this. Come on, Jody. Block it. Come on, Jody. There we go. Oh, and now oh, he's oh, over. Malachi was Watch ready out. For it. Oh, no. What's this? Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. Jody oh, Christopherson. Come on, fighter, you gotta get out of this. Come on, Christopherson. 
Oh, look at him. Is he, he out? Is he out? Over. I think he's out. The ref needs to step in here and end this before he's got to lock that arm. Hurt. Come on, ref. Come on, Jody. Just. And that, that arm it's went down. Up. He oh, called it. The bell. Oh, my. I, fans, I didn't think. I, for some reason, I thought Jody was going to pull off the victory. He looked. Looked that, like, yeah. That was a match. Man, I can't. I cannot believe that. That Malachi, was a brutal, brutal match, fans. Your winner, folks. And this is why the best wrestling action is right here at the Reno Wrestle Factory in Reno, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you all to make sure you check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you keep going to RenoWrestleFactory.com on the World Wide Web for our webisodes. And, of course, if you want to be trained for pro wrestling, the Reno Wrestle Factory is the number one spot.